Told you, too open. <laughs> too open. Easy baskets, just a little tougher to come by, and so you gotta knock down your open three. Popping outside, Cole Huff with a baseline drive for a slam to begin the scoring. Situation, see how Govan's gonna get way extended. Now he's trailing the play. Usually Cole Huff pick and pop threes, but there's no one there. Made him turn it into 18 points. And a 71-51 blowout win. Huff again, this time he's got a three. Greg McDermott told I'd love to see a steady diet of Govan one-on-one in the post against Patton. Davion Mintz has stepped into that starting role in place of Mo Wang. Short for the three. Now Mintz pushing, pulling, and getting it to Mo Wang. Back-to-back buckets for Davion. He also was a guy that everything they did in the half court was centered around Maurice Watson's skill set. There's Patton with a slam. What a season, the pressure. You're gonna have to slip these screens, so see how it's gonna get swung around. So Patton's gonna come to the screen and then slip to the basket. See how Govan was getting extended to on the perimeter. So Govan's going out the trap, Patton slips to the basket. Beautiful play with more pace, not only in the half court, but I think those two guys need to get out and try and get easy one. Buster, tight spin, hits first points. And six of the first day for Georgetown have come from Govan. Foster underneath, forces it up and in. I believe it could be interesting with him. It's a complex defense to try and guard. There's tons of back cuts. There are different assignments that can be hard to deal with. There's a lob to the rim for Hanson. You told me about an hour ago. Watch. Akoya Gao, the local product. Right here in Omaha, fires up the three. That's what, 40 friends and family yeah. attendance today? <laughs> Foster has not get on enough. See, I think you go to the rim, you get a few ones right at the basket. Omaha, out of Omaha Central High School. Mintz back the other way in a hurry. And six early ones for Damian Mintz. That's the way Creighton likes to play. I mean, they want to get out and run. And Hector, well, this is Foster. Zierden's left alone in the corner. Got peaked to fly by. And can to three. Thomas, quiet start to this game for him. Nearly turns it over. Clement bounces for Hanson. Tremendous vision to find the cutting big man. Clement and Hanson have good chemistry with each other. First half. And Clement Hanson in and out of his hands for the flush. Jay's up four early. The shooter's in the right spot. Huff against Derrickson. Hits the fadeaway. Huff shot. It's a guy who's stepping back and turning it over. Thomas looks to push for the Blue Jays. Zips one for Huff who slams it down. Well, Kyrie turns into offense in particular when it's Kyrie Thomas. So look at Kyrie Thomas get his hand on it and watch how he kind of slows up so Huff can get the picture and then deliver to him on time. So that's where you have to be able to see the picture. Slowing it up, eyes up, Huff right down Broadway. That's up from the big fella, especially because he rounds out the Princeton offense and what they do. Foster has him on defense here. Tries to take advantage with a step back jumper. What an impressive last two. Here's Foster. Mismatch against the Gow. Took it on him and banked it in. You nailed it, Joe. Miss. Foster rises. He's feeling it right now. Pulling his way around and kicking. Frenetic pace on this possession. There's Foster. And a super off the glass. Pat goes behind the back, fades on Govan and picks it. <laughs> That's a class. Looks to push for the Blue Jays. Pat with a nifty pass for Foster, and 18 for Marcus Foster.
Creighton, that's their 11, puts a lot of pressure on the defense, and it's kind of a pick your poison situation. You're going to stay attached to the shooters or help on the roll? Foster lobbing to the rim. For and I get just three, four points now. Great. Pump slip, miss, and Pat fumbled the easy deuce. And Omar fumbles on the other end. Here's Pat again. Along the rim to stuff it home. Largest lead of the game for Creighton. Goban bounces for Pete, contested at the rim by Thomas. Batten driving, spinning, kicking, extra pass for a Thomas three. I had never heard of him. You know, I remember when he committed to Creighton, I had to call the coaching staff and ask him about this kid. And they thought he had a chance to be something special. Foster a step back triple, and what a day. Marcus Foster's heaven right there. Need a big push here for the next five minutes, try and get back in this thing. Look at this rotation. Now Foster tries to penetrate and lays it in for two more. Tried to fire him beyond the arc. A skip pass for Zeri. Tries to go by Cameron. Scoops it off the glass and in. This afternoon. Days are plus three in that column. That's going to be, that's always an important area for Creighton because, quite frankly, it's a weakness of theirs. They were minus 17 Wednesday. You said Harrell's the energy guy, but he flashes a pretty jumper from eight. Here's Patton. He knocks it home with a foul and still hasn't missed a day. And that's Marcus Foster with the assist. You see as Foster's going to step right back in. Just a little give and go. That's just two guys. Dunball and Paul Watson out. Derrickson has a three crawl over the rim. And this is a turnover off of the hands of Perel. A guy turns it right back over. It's showtime. Five on that slam. And a chance here for Georgetown, wiped away by Kyrie Thomas. Good instincts, good hands, and Foster to the top floor. Beautiful play from Kyrie Thomas. Derrickson, LJ Peak. And this time Foster clears it. On the push, no look pass. Thomas, the beneficiary. Foster doesn't need much room. Neither does Zierden. And just when it seems they somewhat aggressive, you just operate with a little bit of intelligence on how you're attacking. Zierden for three. And the double figures for Isaiah Zierden. Is that they still have it. And the shot clock winds inside a 10. In the hands of Foster. A step back jumper. 29 for the unconscious Marcus Foster. Includes a date at home with Villanova to finish, but for the next couple of games, Georgetown will be favored in. Oh, Foster, yeah. tack it on. 